we got today? We've got a Sense Orbit. The Sense Orbit. Um, it's a pod, uh, pod mod again. Um, you know, one of those ones uh, comparable to the Smoke Nord, I suppose. But, um, you know, there it is. Uh, you know, you can see there. It's um, a fairly good um, good type of mod. Expect, let's see what we've got. It's an 1100 mile worth of a battery. Charges in one and a half hours. Yeah, it comes with two coils. Um, 0.6 mesh coil, 12, um, 18 to 23 watts, and um, a 1.1 coil, 10 to 12.5 watts. It's a more of a, um, a very loose uh, a draw. Um, let's have a go. This is on the um, mesh one, the 0 0.6 one is a very loose um, a draw on that one, so it could go for um, a restricted draw, so um, you know, you, you can if you want. There's no airflow control on that, the airflow is there, uh, if you can see there is those three dots there or three holes and uh, there is another one also on the, uh, you know, on the other side of it. The coils, I was, uh, I was a bit surprised, I'm not surprised, but they look very similar to the um, uh, to, to the Vupu uh, coils, you know, the PNP ones, but it's a bigger base, uh, you know, as you can see there, it's, it's a bit of a bigger base for them. Um, that's the 1.2 one, so we'll, we'll give it a try now as we go along and see what, um, you know, see what's it like. Um, micro USB charging, uh, there you go, it's a micro USB. Uh, the pod is, uh, this particular one came as a two and a half mil um, uh, pod, but uh, in, in the UK and Europe uh, it will be probably the, not probably, it will be the two mil um, pods. Decent amount of vapor throughout it is quite good, um, you know, I have to say. Um, I'm using 18 mg though, um, 18 mg free base liquid. Um, I don't do any sorts, I don't know, it doesn't agree with me. Uh, the, well, one of the good things about it is the um, the clarity of the pod, so you can tell you know straight away you know what uh, you know what's left uh, what's left in the tank is a clear. Uh, you could say there's a bit of a window in there, but um, it's neither here nor there. It is very it's too thin to see. Yeah, it, it does vape well. I mean, I have no qualms about it. Eleven hundred miles quiet, um, you know, is, is a decent battery. No, we try. We will. We'll change the coil now. That's again the um, 0 0.6 mesh coil. I'm using it as an MTL. It's a very, very, um, very loose uh, draw on it. But let's uh, let, let, let's change it. It's, it's quite easy to change the coil actually on these ones. So, you know, pull. Uh, just make sure you haven't got so much liquid in there because if you do, as you can see there, if you do, you will have um, you know the liquid will come out. So let's try. All you do is you just pull. Uh, pull the coil there. This one sits a bit better than the 1.2. Uh, I suppose it's just the o-ring, uh, you know, it's got a better o-ring. And uh, you put that one in, you center it, and you give it a good push. You, you need a good push for it to, uh, you know, to stay in. And um, let's give it a try. It's a bit, obviously it's a bit of less vapor, you know, a bit tighter on the drawers. It's just a bit of a shame that he hasn't got any um, airflow on them, you know, as opposed to the, um, I don't know, the Crown. And there's so many other ones that have, uh, you know, a bit of an airflow control. But uh, the button is quite good. There's no rattle in there at all with this one. And it's a sort of a variable um, uh, wattage, you could say. I'll show you now how it's through all, all through the one button. It's three clicks of the button. It's quite simple actually to operate and it's a fair, you know, the usual stuff as opposed to I reviewed something, the, the aspect, the IV, uh, IPB aspect the other day and the button is one button but it works the other way around. But there is a review on it as well. So if you can see the light there, I mean, the, uh, the, there's a bit of a light there and uh, w w while you're vaping it shows so that is showing on green now, which is the uh, normal vape. There's a high, uh, medium, and low. Uh, what all you do is you press three times, one, two, three, and it will change that to white, white which is the um, the highest uh, voltage or wattage on it. And then you press again, one, two, three, and then it will go to blue, which is the med uh, which is the softest one, which is the the low basically. And then you press again, one, two, three. 
and it goes to green and it's like you cycle through you know that way to switch it on and off is five clicks one two three four five and you know it switches off it gives you a couple of lights and then you know it switches off altogether so now you push it there's nothing happening there so one two three four five and it's on again so yeah you gotta wait until the, uh, the, the that light you know the flashing stops one two three four five and it's on so wait for that it's got a good ramp up time i mean it fires you know very quickly as soon as you press the button it just fires so that's um you know it, it, it is a good thing for that one so what are we on uh, we are on the green one again the um, the medium now let's put it on the strong one one two three and that will be the white one there as you can see there The vapor gets a bit warmer on the higher you go. It gets a bit warmer and also you get a bit, uh, a bit more vapor as well. It's, it's a nice little bit of vapor, um, you know, it, it, it works quite well. Uh, what I like is the 1100 mile worth of a battery. I mean, so that, that would do you almost, um, you know, a day. And it depends very much on how often it is used. It comes with one pod only, so be careful of that. And also the uh, the pod, you know, comes out. There's no click. There is no um, no magnets or anything. So that's you just pull it. So it just pulls, you know, straight away. That's the inside there. Um, you know, as you probably can see there from the, uh, you know, from a bit of a close up. That's your coil there. You know, as as you can see, you know, fitted in there. And all you do is just put it in there and. Um, there is no way of knowing, you know, whether it's secure or not, you know, it can, um, you know, it can come out, it, it does come out, you know, quite easy. So if you try and pull it, there's nothing, you know, that says uh, no clicks or anything, which is a bit annoying really, because, you know, it just, <laughs> just comes out. The filling port is, um, is fairly decent, I suppose, you know, there it is, you, you can see there, it's fairly, you know, it's, it's a good size, so be careful, get um, get yourself, if you happen to buy one, um, get yourself a, a thin nozzle of, uh, of some sort, you know, so, uh, or a bottle that has a thinish nozzle, so you can um, fill it without having the, the liquid going out, because there's not much difference, uh, not much uh, space for the um, air to, um, you know, to escape there, so it's going to be a hit and miss thing, and let's try and fill it and see what uh, what's it gonna be like so you put it in there and you drop it in there it's it's fairly decent so i mean this time nothing has happened so it happened once uh, to me the rubber uh, grommet is fine uh, you know it's, it, it fits in you know quite nicely but uh, it's the, the the fitting of the, uh, the fitting of the pod itself that is a bit um, uh, annoying. It's not a very good thing. You need you need some sort of a click. You need to know whether it is in or um, in properly or or not because all all you do is just you know like that and not, nothing happens. Incidentally, when you put the pod um, you know in there, you'll get a flash, uh, a couple of lights, a couple of times. Uh, battery is your, your usual uh, green, blue, and um, uh, red. Uh, so when it comes to red, so. <laughs> In the time to charge. Nice bit of crackle on the coil. You know, you can you can see it there. You can hear it as well. Uh, the mouthpiece is um, there, there's a lot of companies that do that type of mouthpiece these days. So you know, a, a raft of them. You know, to name but a few: Crown, the uh, Vupu. Um, Aspire, you know, many, many of them have done that. So it's it's a matter of preference, really, whether you like it or you don't. Um, overall, it's a run of the mill one. Um, uh, no airflow control, and it can be quite airy. If you're an MTL user and you like a tight draw, forget it. You know, this one is not for you. If you like a, a, a bit of a looser draw, then um, yeah, this might be you know okay, it might do you all right. Because I, I, you know, I've gone from a very tight draw, you know, through the years to through to the um, looser draws, which it does work with me with 1.2. The, the 0.6 is obvious for um, direct lung, but uh, it's a very restricted direct lung. So yeah, there you are. The amount of vapor is fine. You know, it's just a run of the mill um, really thing, and it's not that heavy, so it can be used. Um, you know, put it in a pocket or handbag or something like that. There's no leakage. I haven't come across any. You know, through um, even the inside there. You know, you can see it's all dry. 
um, there is no um, no leakage as such. It's, it's a decent company, but you know this thing is not a very good thing. Uh, look, if you put it there, let's let's try it again here. So if you do, you know, that that's you know like that. So if you put it in there, you don't know. Look, it, it pops out. I thought I'll you know point these things out to you. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the video and please subscribe. Um, it would be nice. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in another video. Thank you. Bye bye.